God, let you know how happy we are as the North Carolina Association of Black Storytellers to be here with you. We are here doing a tribute to our own Jackie Torrance, who is a world-renowned storyteller. We loved her, we imitate and emulate her, we cherish her memory, uh, and uh, as many stories as she told, we are here to tell, maybe not her story, but similar stories as we remember her and her greatness. Uh, you see a picture over here of Jackie Torrance with her smiling face, and uh, we're proud that she was one of Rowan County's own. She was also one of Livingstone College's own, and I'm a Livingstonian as well, and so proud to, to have her with us in spirit today. Um, we have over here some folks here who come from around the state to be with us, and you'll be hearing them. Um, Another trip. Regardless of whatever went on in the village, if you had an emergency or whatever, you would always have to make that extra trip to go get water because if one crack pot never, you know, it never carried a sufficient amount. So one day when he was making his trips, the crack pot felt so bad, he was like, I, I feel so bad for you. You could make another pot, but yet still you tore yourself and go back and make extra trips to get water because of me. Why don't you replace me? I, I don't have the value of that perfect pot. And the water bearer looked at him and he said, he said, because of you, did you notice the flowers that grow on the side of the path on the way back from the river where I get the water? I planted those seeds on that side because I know you had a leak, because I like your imperfections. And they brought beauty. From, from those leaks, he was able to get flowers to put on his table when his family ate dinner at night. So with that, he said, I thought it was North Carolina. Her name is Marty A. Pat Stepney. Bring her to the stage, please. For the children here today, I'd like to tell you a story about a little boy named Jack. He grew up to be a big boy named Jack. And he lived with his mother, but he wasn't Jack and the Beanstalk. Now, Jack was a big boy, and it was about time for him to go out and get a job and be on his own. Can you imagine working for a penny? A long, long time ago, people did work, and sometimes they had to work all day long for a penny. So one day, Jack's mother said to him, said, Jack, you're a grown man now. It's time for you to go out and get a job. He said, all right, mama, I'll do what you say. Say tomorrow. So the next day, Jack got up and he went and he got a job working for a farmer. He worked on the storytelling name. It's Marty A, last name Step. Mm -hmm. And I'm the founder of the North Carolina Association of Black Storytellers, the vice president, and also the Northern Regional Director. Mm -hmm. of the North Carolina Association of Black Storytellers. And I live in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Okay, how long you been doing this? I've been doing it over about 40 years. Mm -hmm. I worked for the Forsyth County Public Library in Children's Services, and I retired about 12 years ago mm -hmm. as the Assistant Director of Children's Outreach. Okay, all right. And, and what, what made you get into storytelling? Well, you know, like growing up, we didn't have radio and TV and all of that, so we would sit around and our grandparents and our parents would tell us stories about when they were growing up and how it was. Some stories were, you know, so funny that we would laugh till we split our sides mm -hmm. or maybe sometimes wet our pants. And then we had some that were so frightening right. that we were afraid to go to bed at night. And when we go to bed, we'd have to cover up our heads in order to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So I just grew up with the art of storytelling, really not knowing it was an art, but it was entertainment for us. Right. Because we didn't have all the technology mm. kind of things that they have to entertain them now. Right, right. But we try to bring the art of storytelling back to our people, mm. not only to our people, to all people. Right. To let them know that everybody has a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And we need to know about other people, cultures, and and, and, and how things were for them. Mm -hmm. you know, I feel like it wouldn't be so much animosity and it wouldn't be so much fear if we knew more mm -hmm. about other people's culture and their history. Right, right. So what I'm working on right now is a project called The Village. Mm -hmm. It's an African, it's gonna be an African restaurant and culture center mm -hmm. embodying all cultures. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what would you like to say to all those who are uh, tracking in your footsteps 
trying to make a decision. Exactly. What, what advice, advice would, would you I give? give? Them? Give the mentor. Okay. okay. <laughs> I would give them an advice that if this is something that they want to do, they should go for it. And but always keep in mind if you start out with the, the mind that I'm just there to make the money, they can forget it. Because it's just like B.B. King told me, he said, if you go on stage thinking about, oh, how much money I'm going to make I'm gonna, in the beginning, how much money you're going to make, then you can forget it. You can stay home and eat potato soup and drink Coca-Cola. So the thing of it is, is to go on stage, dedicate yourself to your music, and if you have to make the decision, going professional or working, make the decision, make sure you make the right decision, and just go for it. And sometimes, you know, when it comes to a record company, Sometimes you have to give up some of your some of your percentage, even if you wrote a song. You have to give up some of your percentage to get what you want. It's like getting your foot in the door. Because the money will come by itself. It might take a little while, but believe me, it'll come by itself. Come here, baby. Like you roll your wagon wheel. Swinging plays. Come on and dance with me. Romance with me on a crowded floor. And while music swings, what lovely things I'll be singing. For what is dancing but making love set to music? Playing when the band begins to leave the stand and folks. Start to roll as we wing home, cheek to cheek will be. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in Far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. 